number 13, we have a trig question, and we have a lot of pieces of information that we need to use before we can answer this question. So what we have is we know that sine theta is equal to 1 fourth. We know that tangent of theta is negative. And we're asked for what is cosecant of pi over 2 minus theta. Alright, so the first things we should determine is what quadrant uh, our, is our uh, angle in. Well, sine theta is positive, so that would tell you that it has to be quadrants 1 and 2. So remember your A, S, T, C. So we're only talking about the first two quadrants if sine is positive. We also know that tangent is negative, so that isolates only quadrant 2 as our possible answer. So we know that our answer has to be in quadrant 2. So the last thing we need to do is let's make this a little bit simpler. How do we deal with pi over 2 minus theta? Well, remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so we have sine of pi over 2 minus theta. I remember that sine of pi over 2 minus theta is always equal to cosine of theta, because this is asking you for complementary angle. Um, because they, remember that pi over 2 is uh, radians for having 90 degrees. Sine of 90 minus something is always equal to cosine, because they're co-angles. Uh, so this is really just asking you for 1 over cosine of theta, which is, in other words, secant of theta. So we want secant of theta of some angle that's in quadrant 2, that gives us a sine of 1 fourth. So now we want to go to our triangle. So we know that for this theta, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we know that we have 1 and 4. By Pythagorean theorem, we can get the last side. So we would have square root of 15 by doing Pythagorean theorem, because um, we have 16 here when you square this, 1 here, so that has to add up, you get square root of 15. So here's our triangle, fully formed. We want secant of that angle. So secant is the opposite of cosine. So cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, but we have secant, so we want hypotenuse over adjacent. So secant theta is going to be 4 over square root of 15. And the last thing we need to keep in mind is we were in the second quadrant. Where, what is secant positive or negative in that quadrant? Well, secant has the same positive or negative sign as cosine. And quadrant 2, cosine is negative, so this has to be negative 4 over square root of 15. So that gives us then answer choice D.